Good morning. There's Glacier in all her beauty. Um, today is the morning of, I think it's day 14. I'm right below Red's Pass. I'd hoped to get over it last night, thinking that the campsites on the other side were 15 miles. But it turns out I had already done 15.9, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'll get up and over the pass. Today I'm going to try to go to another creek called Pass Creek. I'd already been to one Pass Creek, and I was so tired last night. Things were pretty um, moist from condensation, but um, otherwise I stayed dry and warm. And uh, met a lady from Duval and a lady named Lady J. No, Mama J. And a lady from Snohomish named Kitter Dun Sue. And it was nice to have some company. And now I gotta stop filming because I'm going up and I'm gonna start breathing hard. That's where I'm going. That's where I came from. So the other thing I learned, and I'm hearing one right now, is that um, noise, it's like, mm, mm, mm. and I thought it was my water bottle. And I've heard it many times in like this low, bushy, scrubby area. Um, I never knew what it was. So I asked Mama J if she happened to know what it is. And it's a grouse. So it's a male grouse. Um, never knew that. So now I won't think I'm hearing things. Yet last night again, I thought I was hearing music. But when I plugged my ears, I still heard it. So like my mother, it was in my head. Um, it was different music than the night before. But I couldn't tell what kind of music it was. I just was hearing things in my head. You kind of go crazy out here when you're by yourself. Gray, gray, but what a beautiful place to be, to be crazy. So I think you can see Glacier behind me. It's over there somewhere. Um, didn't get to see it last night because it was a little bit covered in clouds, but um, still had a gorgeous view from my tent. Okay, something I just realized. Glacier Peak is now behind me. I just love it how you think, I'm never gonna get there. And then you see a mountain in the, in the distance. And then before you know it, you've walked all the way around that mountain. So yesterday, in my 16 miles, I walked around it. So, Goodbye, Glacier. And I hear, I just cut myself off. And I hear from the top of where I'm going, let's see if I can push the right button, up there, I'm gonna get to see Mount Rainier. And then I'll say, Mount Rainier, I'm coming for you. And then before you know it, I'll be in Cascade Locks. Okay, I made it to the top of Red Pass. You can see the trail down there and little streams and mountains. So this is looking east. There's Glacier Peak. And now looking to the west. Check this out. Wow. And way off there, I'm not sure if you can see in the camera, Mount Flippin' Rainier. Whew way above the clouds. Right here. That's Sloan Peak. Oh. 
way down there. That's where I think I have to go. Oh, geez. That's steep. and fall. How are you? Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah, you can come out. Hi. I heard you wrestling in your room. How are you? You've got a pretty nice house here. Yeah. Well, hi. You're very cute, and I do not even have you on telephoto. Oh, look. Oh, careful, careful. Oh, no. Oh, try again. Try again. You can do it. Am I in your way? Am I in your way? Oh, I see telephoto. There is telephoto. Yeah, am I? Oh, yeah, that's a better way. Okay. All right. Yeah, you go up and you sun yourself. Go sun yourself. Oh, that's a good spot for you up there, except I can't see you. All right, bye, Marmot friend. There you are. Hi, sweetie pie. You are very cute. You've got cute little chompers. It's kind of like your shit is off. Yeah, those are cute little chompers. Just don't chomp me, okay? Yeah, okay, yeah. You go back and you finish your nap. All right. Bye, Marmot friend. Bye-bye. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, there's no way horses could do that. Sheesh. Well, is this, is this a breakfast spot? What's for breakfast this morning? You know, you're like three feet from me. <clears throat> What's good around here? Those bushes? Oh, they look really delicious. Oh my gosh, I want to touch you. All right. There, that's telephoto. That's wide angle. You're so close to me, you're so fuzzy. You're so fluffy, I want to squeeze you. All right, see ya. So I came around the corner and I thought someone had a campfire. And then I see there's a fire over there. And that little valley is all kind of hazy. Someone had mentioned there was a fire, but it wasn't affecting the PCT, but looks little, but it's kind of scary. And it looks like the PCT is gonna go right under that little knob right there. And then from there, don't know. So this is super nice that the Forest Service put this up. It says wildfire visible ahead. Smoke may be visible from the Airplane Lake fire located on the north side of Mount Sauk. It's being closely monitored by the Wenatchee F River Ranger District. There are currently no trail closures in place. Closures could be implemented with an increase in fire activity with little to no notice. Okay, so it looks like I'm okay for now, but I'm glad that someone knows about it. I don't know what that is. That looks cool with the glacier. First snow crossing! Hey, Mama Grouse. Can you please get off the trail? I know you got babies. Where's your baby? Where'd your babies go? This is Lake Sally Ann. I intended on swimming and maybe drying my tent out, but that started rumbling and got really windy and cold. So I think I got my rain gear on, got my pack in rain mode. 
it's sunny now, but I think I'm going to uh, continue on because I don't really like hiking in thunderstorms. So, because as I know from Linda and Angie and Misty's experience, they can turn fairly quickly. So, but let me show you the lake. It is very pretty. It's a really pretty bluish color. I imagine it would have been really nice to clean my body in. I thought about actually getting in, but not today. It's not looking so great. I keep hearing thunder and um, I did see lightning over on that ridge. I'm going down now. I was on a ridge. I want my friends. I'm all alone. <sighs> okay, this is so ridiculous. I'm so tired that I just stopped and I'm sitting in the middle of the trail and I'm being swarmed by flies. There's probably 30 flies swarming around me and I don't really care. I'm too tired to care. Okay, so I feel much better. I think my problem is I'm not eating enough, but I don't have um, any more snacks. So all I have is my three meals a day. And so without taking breaks, I didn't really get to take breaks today because once I tried to take a break, dry my stuff out, have a break, it started to rain. So then went to Lake Sally Ann. I was going to do the same thing. I was going to take like half an hour, hour break. Same thing. Thunder, lightning all around. I wasn't going to hang out there. And then I decided at 4.30, I was going to take a break and eat a Carnation Instant Breakfast that I didn't have in my coffee this morning. I was saving it for a snack instead. And I did that right at the freaking middle of the trail with the flies. But now I feel much, much better. So tomorrow I'm going to be better about taking breaks um, and trying to figure out how I can space my food out because I'm out of tortillas, um, I'm out of snacks. I just have breakfasts, lunches, and dinners, so we'll figure that out. Good morning. I'm about 24 miles out of Stevens. I camped last night at Pass Creek. Got up early. And this is what the trail looks like early. It's so pretty. It's still cool. I have a big climb, and then a down, and then another climb. It's gonna be a 5,000 foot up or downer day, but shooting for, I may have already said this, 20 some miles. Had a great night's sleep. Ooh, I'm puffy. Had mac and cheese for dinner and added extra salt. That's why I think I'm all puffy, but Mornings are so much better. By 3.30, I get tunnel vision. And all I want to do is get to camp. So i got to figure out a way to change my mindset on that. I think more food. But uh, yeah, we'll see. While I love the forest, this is what I love. Being up high, this trail is super nice compared to what the, around Glacier Peak was, and that's really pretty. I think there's Keys Peak over there that sounds familiar. Speaking of Glacier Peak, there she is. Whew. See ya, Glacier. You're in my rear view mirror. I keep taking video, thinking it's the last I'll see, and it's not gonna get any better. And then it just keeps getting better. This is fun. Of course, I pull my camera out and they're like six little eekers screaming. And then I get my camera out, they're quiet.
I must say, this is one of the coolest boulder fields. The trail is amazing. Came from up there. And I think Glacier might be over there. But pretty cool. This is Pear Lake. Great spot. Too far for me to have camped here, but makes an excellent water collection and second breakfast. Oh, look at this lake. So pretty. I think I might even do. Oh, look at that rock. Great place to dive in. Skinny dipping in the lake. This is where I had second breakfast, did my laundry, did a dip. Um, what else did I do? Got water. Great place. I love to camp here. It's really pretty. Apparently, I'm on the top of Grizzly Peak. Keep thinking, not going to see anything, and then I do. This is Glasses Lake. Earlier we saw Heather Lake and then on the south, no, maybe the west side of the trail I was able to catch a glimpse of Cup Lake and Saucer Lake. Um, there's also a Pear Lake and a Peach Lake. So someone had fun naming the lakes up here. This is Lake Janice. Heather and Janice are friends. There's a cup and a saucer, a peach and a pear. This is above Lake Valhalla. I stopped for dinner there. Didn't uh, film much because the bugs were really bad. But now I'm going another two miles down trail. But Stevens is still six miles away, so not gonna make up. Okay, so this is home for the night. A little campsite right near a stream. Nobody here. I'm not sure how far away I am from Evans, but I'm pretty bushed and what would I do if I got there at nine at night? Let's then call Eric and have him come get me. But I could always do that in the morning. The bugs are bad. I gotta go set up my tent. Good morning. I'm right outside of Stevens Pass. I'm having a low morning. Trying to decide whether I want to go home. But if I go home, I'm home for a really long time. Not that that's bad, but it kind of breaks up the rhythm of a through hike. And, um, I stink. And, and I'm tired of my clothes being sticky with sweat. So, and I don't, and I only have breakfast and dinner left. So, I think I'm going to make a decision. If I can get to that Snoqualmie Valley, or Snow, oh, shit, Skykomish Outfitters, and I can get things taken care of, then I'll go on. But if there's no way I can fully resupply and get charged up, then I'm just going to call Eric and I guess I'm just going to stay home for a while. I could quilt. 
but uh, I really want to stay on trail. Yesterday was actually I did better with breaks, but yesterday was long. And um, I haven't eaten breakfast this morning. I probably should, but um, I just wanted to get moving. So sorry, I'm Debbie Downer. The trail is not always bubbles and sunshine and rainbows and unicorns. Sometimes it sucks, but uh, that's what it's here for. Well, thank goodness I'm getting to town because this is my food bag. And that's all that's left in emergency. Um, I have one crappy dinner. It's a mystery dinner, something I made of couscous and I think some gravy packet. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I can't remember now. So that's my emergency food. But otherwise, I'm out of food. This, I, uh, this section, I ate a lot. So this is a very interesting sight. I made it to Stevens and I decided to go home. I can't remember if I said that already. I'm gonna go home for a little bit. I'm used to seeing mountain bikers, but today, there is a archery festival and it looks like they've got some little fake animals right there that people are going to be shooting. So I'm happy for my decision, I think. I, um, I was tired of being alone and um, I've seen some beautiful scenery, but when you're always alone, like who the fuck gives a shit about beautiful scenery? And um, I was always chasing miles because I had this deadline to get back home by the... I, I, was, I hurried, hurried, hurried so that I could squeeze this section in. So I pushed the miles in section K, which I needed to because um, I wouldn't have had any more food. I would have only had one day food. So, I mean, I probably could have done one more day in section K and not pushed um, a couple days, but... Um, I think my timing through section K was pretty good, but um, going through section J, where I'd like to be able to spend a lot of quality time, and if I want to stop at this lake and it's only two o'clock, then I stop at that lake. Um, but I wouldn't have been able to, having to get back in order to go to um, the horse show, which I really want to. So even though I'm gonna be home for longer than I anticipated, because I'm three days ahead of schedule, um, I'm going to go home, and I won't have time to do Section J before um, the show, but I may come back and do it later, or I may just hop back on at Stevens, or Snow Snoqualmie, since I've already done this section. And I think it, if I do hop back on either at Stevens or Snoqualmie, I'm going to not push for miles, and I'm just going to enjoy it, because I don't have to get back at any certain time. So I'm happy with my decision, I think, but uh, it's hard to get off the trail. I mean, it's going to be hard to get back on and I lose my rhythm and, and I'm gonna, I know I'm going to miss it, but I think it's for the best. So they have all the rubber animals set up. There's an elk. Didn't see those. A deer. Saw that. A cougar. Saw that. Another deer. Saw that. I have no idea what that thing is, nor the little thing. A beaver? What are these people? Shoot. 